Three, two, one, go! We are Paul Leonard and Bryce Graskowski, and this is 20, 20 minutes, minutes of Fitness. Hello? Hello? Hello, Bryce? Is it me you're looking for? Man, nobody's looking for that, Bryce. Nobody, nobody wants to hear that. that. Okay, so uh, what do they want to hear, buddy? They want to hear, um, hear more information about the CrossFit. They want to hear how to make a two, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars What's the games prize? I don't know. I think it's right around there. Three seventy-five, something like that. I think. Uh, Actually, I have no idea, one. but I, uh, I plan to win it this year. That's so what they want to know, and that's what we're going to help them do by starting with the Open. Um, so we figured Actually, from now until the Open, we need to talk about the CrossFit Open because because all y'all, need even help. though you hate CrossFit now, hate people it. still are CrossFitters and. Do the open. Go we're back. Do the open. Go back and watch the uh, 2009, 10, 11 games. Go watch the Tahoe Throwdown, Rogue versus again Faster. Super enjoyable content and all that stuff um, that it's you don't old school. You stuff. don't quite get the same content now. But uh, can you guys tell that Bryce oh, doesn't have a job? Yeah, he spends time at home Dude, watching. I, uh, we no. We actually watch. The, we actually watch those at night. But so what do you do the rest of the time? I watch other videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Today, the well, not today, but the other day, CrossFit released the equipment list yeah, about a for, week, the, week or so ago. for the CrossFit Open, and um, I don't actually have a date mark when it happened. But, yeah, um, we're going to talk about how some... Uh, so, I guess it was on January movements. 12th they announced it. Okay, it's been a little bit. Picture. So, that being said, um, they gave us the 2023 season equipment list. The following equipment list is a non-specific, non-exhaustive list of equipment you should have access to if you plan on competing in the open or, and actually, any online events during the 2023 Noble CrossFit game season. So you, you know that, that means it's going to include the online qualifiers and like that stuff too. That's so you know what that list. tells me? They don't even know what the wads are yet. Yeah, they haven't figured it out. They're like, yeah, fuck, so, I don't know. This Use this stuff. I believe in the past they've given us a list. Like, they gave us an open list, and then they gave us a quarterfinal list. But the open list, I think, um, a couple of years ago, included stuff they didn't even have. So I think that's what they're, they're saying. Make sure you have this, even though you might not need it. Which Because yeah. they always are tweaking stuff right up to game day, I think. So let's go through the items one by one. We'll and then do that. some of them we'll want to talk more about. And some of them will be too self-explanatory to bother. So number one, medicine ball. I think we're going to have some medicine shots. Cool. Right? Sounds like a ball. Uh, medicine shots. No? No? I don't know. Wall balls, clearly. <laughs> clearly wall balls. I don't think there's anything else they do with a med ball. In, I mean. It could be med ball clean. Med ball clean. Highly improbable. Hey, med ball clean is one of the, um, what is it? How many are there? Seven foundational movements in the CrossFit level one. It's funny. Med ball cleans and sumo deadlift high pull, and they never do them. Yeah. You could see sumo deadlift with that kettlebell. Anyway. That being said. Wall balls. How brutal would it be to have a workout with a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of med ball cleans? I hate horrible. med ball cleans. They're double squats. They're like though. way harder than yeah, they should be. They're it's horrible. Like, yeah, it's like doing air squats, but with a standard that's harder. They get your breathing out of rhythm because you start getting, <laughs> and then you hyperventilate. Uh, so wall balls. But wall balls. Um, and we, and they we didn't have wall balls last year, which no, is interesting. And we mentioned this last week and go back to watch that video. I think there's some good content on like, uh, rep schemes and stuff like that. Like, uh, workout schemes, wall balls. You're going to either see low number of rounds, like maybe up to 20 for rounds. Like we had the 19 rower, 19.1 row and yeah, wall balls, get. 19, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll your favorite. That. Um, that one had 19. That was kind of on the, and then there's some that have like 55, and then there's 150. So you're probably going to see that kind of thing. So if you could do 20 in a row, drop 20 or even 15, 10, you're good. So that's kind of your wall ball, I think. And to me, if you want to be competitive with the time, you need to be able to do sets of 20 yep. back to back. Yep. Like you should be able to do 100 of them in sets of 20 without breaking. Something like that. Yeah. Something I mean, like that. That'd be- if you could do that, you're going to be pretty competitive. I think. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. To be to be decent at it, and that's not to say that I mean, you need to be able to do that. Yeah, but I'm mostly it'd be nice. everything I'm talking about, guys, is mostly for that 10 percent yeah. to make that 10 percent into the quarterfinals. Um, and like I said, go back and watch that other video. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Thank you. Um, and then kettlebells, next one. Kettlebells, next so one. So that's a new one for the CrossFit Open, but it's not a new, new one for the. No, it's new for the quarterfinals. Is it for the, oh, yeah. Fine. Okay. New. What's the weight though? It doesn't say. Okay, the weights from what I heard is 50 the 53 and the 35. 
Okay. So what is that? Um, 24 kilo, 16 kilo? One pood and half a pood. Uh, one and a half and one, yeah. Yeah, one and a half and one. So that's a lightweight kettlebell. Yeah. That tells me it's in the open. Unless they put like a, a kettlebell snatch or a kettlebell clean and press for the quarterfinals. But we had a 70-pound dumbbell last year for the, the quarterfinals. I don't think they're going to regress to a lighter object. So yeah. that tells me kettlebell swings, high rep, open. And, and they're already doing clean and jerks and snatches with a dumbbell. Yeah. So why do it with why a kettlebell? It? Just, they just, have the same movement. They're just making it more complicated. It's unnecessary. So it's quite likely that they're going to do American Swing. kettlebell swings. So they have to yep. go all the way over your head. So there's an easy lockout point for judging. Um, high probability high that. Reps. It's possible they could do, again, like even carries and stuff with it. but. Yeah, Unlikely, sure. unless they're going to have kettlebell swings and, and carries. carries, absolutely, or absolutely, and box step ups. I could or see him doing a one of these, one of these, and swings, something like that. Smoke it's your possible. shoulder. Um, the, and and by oh yeah, just people not watching. So a front rack carry and overhead carry, and then kettlebell swings. Uh, my feeling on this one is a, a good workout scheme would be like a um, ascending rep scheme. If you want to do an AMRAP, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I think we had that with the... Um, and that way you have to we had that be with the, fitter to get to that harder level. Because that was the original, the first, I think the first dumbbell workout, mm -hmm. or the first year they had dumbbells was the dumbbell snatches in yeah. that order with burpees, with burpee box, box. Overs. I could see them doing the same thing with a different movement where it's an uh, ascending AMRAP uh, or a set number like that one was where it stopped at 50. The other one I could see them doing, because, um, again, and I, I, we were meant to talk about this last week, Adrian Bosman's the programmer now. He yeah. likes old school. Yeah. He likes bringing back things that you forgot and he about. Likes gymnastics a lot. And what's, like, one of the number one workouts in CrossFit? It's, uh, what is that, Helen? Okay. The, so yeah. that, Helen has 21 kettlebell swings, 12 pull-ups, and then if you match that up with Another with new movement sprints. that we think they're going to have is a shuttle run. Yeah, shuttle runs. You you all of a sudden bring back a classic with a twist. They like that. That'd be a fun one. I and like you could do a out. for time, right? Yeah. So 21, again, if you could do 20 of them in a row, 21 in a row, you're probably going to be set. Just like the wall ball. Same same kind of object, right? So next one we got here is a jump rope, which I, I think is probably going to be um, singles and doubles. crossovers. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, it's all going to be crossovers, Shit, 100 crossovers suck. for time. How about uh, crossovers and triple unders? Triple unders Just too, Fuck everybody. Yeah. So I think you might see singles. So I think it's most likely doubles. That's yeah. what we always see. Most likely happen. doubles, scaled will be singles. That's probably going to happen. Which is it is certainly always... possible to be triples or it's possible to be crossovers, but not in the open. They're not trying to fuck with people like that. Maybe in the like qualifiers or something, but even still, probably not. Semi, uh, the semifinal, maybe. Semifinal, maybe. Not, not maybe. the quarterfinal. And then um, pull-up bar. Pull-up so bar. I think they're probably going to have pull-ups, probably starting with regular pull-ups. Pull-up to the bar bars, most... going up to muscle-ups. Yeah. Although... We'll get there, but yeah, yeah. so that's possible. Um, toes the bar, yeah. Toes the bar is almost guaranteed going to be there because mm -hmm. they're easy to judge. Are they in every open? That. I think they've been in I almost all of them, if not yeah. all of them. Yeah. Um, barbell, which could mean anything, honestly. Yeah, sumo no... deadlift high pull, probably. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Med so, ball clean sumo deadlift high pull. Am wrap. Good night. Go. Good night. I quit. <sighs> uh, so barbell could obviously mean anything. Yeah. And then wall space. So there's probably going to be Dance some sample. dancing against the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Twerking. Yeah. Um, maybe some wall sits. Wall squats. Yeah, wall oh, squats, wall, yeah. wall sit with a med ball Ooh. with a kettlebell. There it is. There's the kettlebell move. Inverted wall sit. So you got to be upside down, but be at 90 degrees. What if they did a, um, <coughs> all right, they take the wall ball. Here it is. I figured it out. The wall ball, med ball cleans. That then progresses to a kettlebell goblet squat cleans. All while wall walking. <laughs> Lunging. So wall space is probably going to be handstands. wall walks or handstands. Oh, yeah, wall walks. I actually Forget think there's a high probability they're going to get rid of handstands completely out of the open like they did last year mm -hmm. and change it to wall walks yeah. because they're easier to judge yeah. and you're less likely to hurt your neck. Yeah. So I think there's a good chance that our handstand push-up days are gone from it. I think that would be, yeah, especially the way they're, they're for the open, of, the way they're trying, the to way they're it. doing the open now. Yeah. I was always amazed. The, I remember the first year they did handstand push-ups. I'm like, what the, f like, yeah, I was dumb. amazed. You I was like, this up. is the dumbest thing you could do. Like for, a, for a sport that like people looked at as like dangerous and people get injured. I'm like, you're going to yeah. have, 
Now you're going to have everybody pushing their head into the No ground. business going upside down, dropping their fat asses onto their head. And that's the worst part is you get these people that shouldn't be going upside down at all. And they can just barely get one rep with a kip. Yeah. And then they're just going to unload. And even that, when you're dead tired, like yeah. shit. Oh, you did the um, the handstand push-up wad the other day, the, yeah. the 50 at yeah. the end. How many did you get? Uh, one. 16. But still. 16. Were they strict? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Very so strict. even that, you're so tired at the end, you're just collapsing on your head. And then add kipping, it's even worse when you're tired on a kip. Like, well, that one was strict, so there's no, no yeah. kipping. But, but, but yeah. you're collapsing on your head. And imagine, like, that. even well, that's at dangerous. least if you're, if you're fit enough to do a strict handstand push-up, you're probably fit enough to not smash yourself in the head so bad. If you're fit enough to just barely be able to do a kipping dude, pull up, yeah, push up, dude, yeah, sorry, kipping push up, yeah. yeah. So anyway, next set is rings. So uh, rings is probably going to be skin the cats, skin the cats, right? definitely. Yeah. I like or skin maybe the cats. maybe um, iron lever. crosses. Oh, iron cross. There you go. Yeah. So it, it's it's a one minute iron cross. Front lever, back lever. All right. There's only two movements in CrossFit that CrossFitters can do: muscle up. Yeah, ring dips and muscle ups. I'd like, and the I'd like rings to see, that they show in the picture are high. Well, I would like to see them give you a set of 20 dips. But, you have but the, muscle up but the rings have to be at fingertip height. Yeah. I so do. you have to do a muscle up. So then you're punished if you're not good at dips. And you have to have a muscle up. I think that'd be a beautiful. And thing. a set of 20 would be a dick move. Because how many people can even do a set right. of 20? Here's the even 10 big, would be like 10 would be brutal, but it would be like like I could do sets of 10 dips. Yeah. So if it was a workout that had sets of 10 dips in it, I could go up through the muscle up and do yeah. sets 10. But 20 is a dick. Now you got to do two muscle ups. Probably three. And, and here's yeah. even... Here's yeah, even, he's not going to do two back to back. Here's an even bigger dick move. Imagine you get your first muscle up, right? But you can't get any dips. You don't let the muscle up even be a score. Yeah, that's so not even a So you get a zero. Oh, man. That'd be so harsh. you get your muscle up thrill, but you don't get a point for it. That'd be awesome. Okay, so next we got floor space. That shit Dave Castro would do. Floor space. Okay, we're doing shuttle runs. So lunges, it definitely could be in shuttle run. runs, fl- lunges. Um, that workout that I did the other day with the handstands at the end, that was 19-3, I think. Yeah, that's stupid. Um, Dumb work. The reason it was so hard for me, because I put this stupid jump cue thing in the gym right now, I only had 10 feet. For what? For my shuttle, or for my uh, lunges. Oh, you had to go back and so forth. So I went back, time, forth, time. back, forth, back, forth, and you're overhead. So every time I'm like walking around. Oh, you, turn, have a, you have a yard. I know, and a, and a alley, but that's not the way I set it up. So, retarded. man, it took so long to do. Like, yeah. it took me seven minutes and something just to get to the handstands. My last time was like five something. Know, and it was all because the shuttles were so slow, the lunges were so what slow. Are, they were supposed to be 25, right? Because it was supposed to be 200, 200 feet or 200 meters. So, 200 feet, but it was supposed to be 25 chunk. Uh, was that, 45 foot. That's the way it's written 45 foot chunks. Oh, oh, because they had lines. Yeah, but, yeah. but I believe. I believe in the rules they said you cannot go longer than 25 because some people had gyms big okay. enough where they could go straight 200 and that's way faster. There's no turnaround. So doing a 10 foot was brutal. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, that's horrible. Every time I got turn, to the other end, yeah, turn, go, go, turn. go, go. Yeah. So that was rough. But anyway. Um, yeah. So that being said, floor space probably means that they want you to have a 25 foot strip. Yep. Although they didn't say that. But that's generally what they're doing. But I think 25 is kind of the expectation. They did that last at the quarterfinals um, with the shuttle runs. And I, I'm pretty sure it's always been with the lunges, the overhead lunges. What was the one you did? It was front rack lunge with dumbbells. Is that right? Overhead lunge. Oh, one overhead. hand. One hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's always been 25 anytime they do that. So, yeah, that would be good. Handstand walks is always about that. And then, um, yeah, I think there will be handstand walks in the open this year because I That's like, I like level. them putting it at the end where, like, at yeah. the end of the workout, you get through all this other BS and now you're on to handstand walks. So that'd be a, a good one to practice. So really only three things, right? Pretty then much. rower. So uh, rower probably means um, inverted rowing where we put it up on the wall, right? I was thinking odd object lift. Okay, yeah. yeah. So the only thing other than rowing for calories or once for distance that they've had is they had burpees over the rower as right. part of it. Yeah, so that's yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. Which Although, whatever. I think you're still rowing. Are falling on that one. But so you're still rowing for calories or distance. Um, and generally, if it's for calories, it's going to be on the lower end. And if it's for distance, it's going to be 1,000 plus. And more than likely, it'll be calories because that's what all but it's one scorable. year has been. It's an easy to score thing. Unless it's a, um, you have to complete this. If it's, a, if it's a rounds for time and you have to complete, like if it's the 20-minute workout, then it'll be like 1,000 a couple times. 
but it's probably going to be, I, I agree. Cowards. And then plyo box. So, uh, again, they didn't actually specify sizes, but they show a picture or maybe there is text that goes of all this that I was not. There is. At. Yeah. But, um, so they probably have a standard rogue box what they have in the picture. So 24, yeah, 20, 20, yeah, 30. um, 30, but more than likely it's gonna be 24, 20 yep. and scale down. It's going to be box jump overs or step ups, something that burpee box overs, something that is going to be easy to judge. Again. Measurable on each because you got to the other side. I so, think box jumps are dead. They're I like agree. Dead. Yeah. So step ups is now a thing though with weight. Yep. So that's step definitely up with weight, step up real. without step or box yeah. jump overs. I think you're still going to have to jump. I like that they made you jump last year. And I can see burpee box jump overs again. Absolutely. To me, that's a, that's the best of all those because cuts out. It gets rid of two things. It too. gets two movements in the way. They're super, super hard. Measurable. They're super easy to judge. Yep. Either you made it over or you didn't. Yep. And even like for a little bit, there was standards on our, on jumping and like laying down on the burpee and everything. And they've basically been like, no, chest the deck, get over the thing. That's how it chest the deck. Been. We don't care how you step up or step down. Start or point, end point. Irrelevant. We don't need a line down the middle. Right. None of that bullshit. Yep. So I feel like that's kind of the newest standard of it. And therefore, I think it's going to be burpee box jump overs. Wow. Which okay. it's going out on a limb. Also, floor space burpees. <laughs> and yeah, so that's, that's a good one. Um, and then dumbbells and bumper plates are both listed. So the dumbbells, it, it said like 70, 50, 35, but it said the 70 and the 50 for women um, is for the quarterfinals. So you're looking at a 50 for the guys, 35 for the ladies for the open. Which makes sense purely because they don't want all the gyms to have to go out and buy all yeah, the no, gear. Yeah, no, stupid. Like most gyms annoying. already have a bunch of 50s now. Yep. And Absolutely. maybe one or two 70s. So. Um, and that means that you're going to have a dumbbell in the quarterfinals, a heavy dumbbell. So get those dumbbell snatches. Be good yeah. at those. And dumbbell clean and jerks too. That's yeah, quite possible. Yeah, that would be a good one. Yep. Like I could see them easily doing a workout where you have two. They could do – I mean, they could do overhead lunge. They could do all that stuff. But, yeah. But I could see them having two dumbbells where you have to do uh, I believe lunges it, with it. only it, says, said do, one. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. But There's a lot more you can do with two. Practice all your one, your single dumbbell stuff heavier. That's all. And then if, that's if it. you're going to make the quarterfinals, that's it. So and one for plates, which obviously, yeah. for, and they don't give and back. they don't give a number, so that means there's going to be there could be a one rep max, but it could also mean you need 95 pounds. Last year, what was the heaviest? 135 pounds in the open. Yeah, yeah, um, that's right. Last year was atrocious. So one of the things that's missing that was I know there was last year for the quarterfinals, we had a rope climb. There's no rope. I don't know why my sprinklers are going off right now. Sprinklers are on. They go on at like 6 a.m. It's not six a.m. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, all right. Um, no rope climbs, so so I know you like rope climbs. Yeah. And no GHD sit-ups, and I know you like GHD sit-ups. Actually, that's what we just did for a workout. Have they ever had GHDs in the open? quarterfinals? Quarterfinals. The quarterfinals. But I'm saying those aren't on that list. Oh, anymore. not enough for that either. Yeah. Interesting. So have they ever had rope climbs in the open? No. 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 Never in the open either. No. And that makes sense, too, because you don't want your... You're supposed to be able to do it in your garage if you have the equipment, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. We just did. You don't have 15 feet. That's true. That's why we just did I'm gonna double. Have, I'm going to have to make a bigger hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pole coming out of your roof. So, yeah. No, I, I was able to hollow out my ceiling to make an 11-foot rope yeah. climb. But 11? That's, that's it. Is. It's 11. Yeah. Um, so, we just did a workout with rope climbs, wall balls, and GHD sit-ups, and we, we doubled up the rope climbs. Yeah, so we felt like doing the 11 was about equivalent. Double was close enough to doing the 15. Yeah. If anything, we did more work and we still beat Absolutely. you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, we beat everybody in the world. So, uh, Rich Froning, Mayhem. Yeah, it sounds like it could be an interesting open. I hope that Bosman being the programmer is going to mean that we get a little bit of something different. Uh, yeah, a little Last fresh Last year was take. quite disappointing. That was bad. Um, for me being a bigger guy especially – having nothing that weighed anything and no. not like it's, it was all about who has the best burpees. Like I think you were the best at burpees. You probably could win everything else too. Absolutely. This year, I think the open is going to really um, tell you if basically if the CrossFit opens completely screwed or not. Um, Cause last year you had the firing of Castro a couple months before yeah. a month before. And so Bosman was kind of, Oh yeah, here, do this. And then the year before was a disaster anyway, because everybody was doing it in their house. Yeah. Um, so it's been a couple of years of like really bad opens. So it's kind of, that's 
leaving a bad taste in everybody's mouth. So hopefully he can bring it back to what the open used to be, which and was a lot of big questions suffering. too, is whether, whether it's even going to get the participation and everything. It's going to be you've screwed yourself so badly yeah. so many times like they have. Do they even have a shot at getting people to do it anymore? And that's one of the things too, is that even last year, the uh, people that did it were better than the people that had, when you get a whole bunch of people, there's going to be a bigger pool of bad people. Yeah. So you actually have to be a little bit better if there's less people. So we'll see. Yeah. In the end, I think it'll be an interesting open and we're going to do it. Um, I didn't actually sign up yet, but I probably no, will sooner than I don't later. know if I'll, I'll, I'll probably sign up. Well, you said we're going to start doing it on the We're going to do them anyway. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do them. I'm going to sign up. We're going to do them. We're going to do a, a tips and tricks video. Uh, and then also you could see kind of what like an, the normal dude can do, right? We're pretty normal dudes. Pretty normal. Abnorm abnormally normal so uh on that note uh, like subscribe like, subscribe buy the t-shirt out and uh next week we'll try to do another one about the open in some way shape or form if anybody has ideas for things that they want to talk about in the podcast we'd appreciate it yeah that'd be great we can so talk about anything we can we're really smart know about most really things. smart so, uh, um, a good one legit do, do you want to hear about um no. we, we could talk about people the the athletes because now you have um you got a lot of stuff shaking up in the last few weeks yeah especially with the new women's champion all right so all right on Peace that note out. see ya.